Hello, I am Hideki Kobara, I'm the Chief Director of Endoscopy Unit, Kagawa University, Japan. Kagawa City is located in the west of Japan and has attractive places such as inland sea, temples, and delicious noodles called udon. Here, I'd like to introduce the first author, Dr. Noriko Nishiyama. Hi, my name is Noriko Nishiyama of Kagawa University. For this article, I'd like to talk about the efficacy of endoscopic ligation with all enclosure for preventing gastric post-endoscopic submucosal dissection bleeding under antithrombotic therapy, a prospective observational study. Why did you perform this study? Antithrombotic agent increased risk of delayed bleeding after gastric ESD. Therefore, endoscopic preventive measure is necessary. Currently, gastric mucosa closure is under investigation, but it's difficult due to gastric sick wall. And also, formation of a mucosa bridge and cavity leads to early dehiscence. So recently, we have developed a novel closure method using endoscopic ligation band and hemocrypts, called for endoscopic ligation with orange closure, ELOC. Our aim was to examine the efficacy of ELOC for preventive gastric post ESD breeding with antithrombotic therapy. How to do ELOC procedure? I explain the ELOC procedure. First, a 2 cm diameter nylon loop was positioned around the defect, and two hem clips were used to anchor the loop on both edges of the defect. Second, grasping forceps were used to grasp the loop and pull it into the cap of EVL. Third, an o ring was fired around these hem clips to close the proximal side of the defect. At the center of the defect, mass layer clip was added. This procedure was repeated towards the distal side. Finally, the whole defect was closed completely without a mucosa bridge. The process of was single channel scope use, no formation of some mucosal pocket by anchoring the muscle layer, no need for special running, no available devices, and low cost. What is the outcome? 48 patients were finally analyzed. The post ESC bleeding rate was 0%, the complete closure rate was 97%, and the mean closure time was 29 minutes. The sustained closure rate was 95% on POD223 and 33% on POD10 to 11. No complications occurred. This study revealed three important findings. First, it looked effectively prevented post ESC bleeding. Second, ELOC provided a high complete closure rate. Third, ELOC showed an excellent short-term durability of closure with a high sustained closure rate on POD 2 to 3. What are the next steps? A further trial with a large number is necessary to clarify the most suitable defect size, location, and circumference for ELOC. Describe short conclusion. In conclusion, ELOC may be an effective option for closing mucosal defects after gastric ESD. However, the preventive effect of ELOC on post ESD bleeding should be further investigated in a prospective comparative study targeting patients at high risk of bleeding. Thank you for your attention. Bye bye. Bye bye.